Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your April mid-month tarot reading. This is a reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back in return every single day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So those bring in aspects of money, love, career, really anything you could be asking about. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but then next week it could be something entirely different. I will tell you in a couple of weeks, I'm going to have a four month predictive reading for the months of May through August. So if you have not subscribed, you might want to, and also hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss that one. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. All right, so we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, oh boy, we've got the nine of swords. Oh my God, this is crazy. The Eight of Swords is the immediate influence, but I'd rather have them over here. 78 cards though. So when two come out together, there's definitely a connection. You've got the Tower in your subconscious, Ten of Pentacles in the distant past, King of Swords in the more recent past, Three of Wands is coming towards you. This is taking a better turn. You have the Four of Swords as your energy, the Six of Wands as the person or situation you're attracting, the Empress, this is crazy. Okay, you've got the Empress and then the Hierophant and the Outcome. I really like that a lot. The bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. So we have here just the three major arcana. We've got quite a bit of air here. We've got fire. We have Taurus and water and a little bit of earth there. So I do feel like with this, in terms of a relationship, those of you who have taken a break or you're in a breakup, you definitely have reconciliation here. Those of you that are not on speaking terms, um, but others of you, I do feel like they're telling you to get back on the saddle. You've got both the six and seven of wands. I love the six of wands. It's such a wonderful card in any any reading. Um, now, those of you too, if it is about a job and you're, you've are you been waiting or you're not sure what to do, I feel like somebody here is racked with stress and, and even a little bit of guilt about making a decision with that eight and nine of swords. So with the seven of wands, that's the energy that says we got to move forward here, Virgo. And you're going to have some, you may have some minor things to work out, but this is like no problem. Seven of Wands is in alignment. And so especially too with any kind of relationship or even a job or a move, when we're in alignment, that's high vibrational. So we're attracting things that will move together and be sustainable. So that Two of Cups, you've got a match here. We also have two with the Nine of Cups. That's one of the lottery tickets of the tarot, but it's wish fulfillment. So that Two of Cups energy says, Whatever it is that you're bringing in, it's worth a match. In a relationship, it's worth the investment. If there are some things that have, uh, you know, happened in a relationship, it's like things are going to be working out. And the nines are all about attainments. You do have two nines here. Nines are about realizations. They're about starting new cycles. So it's going to be a new beginning coming in. Uh, and for some, in terms of relationship, it is somebody who's going to pay a lot of attention to you. So if you had a relationship before that part of the problem was you felt invisible and it just felt like, well, what I, you know, is it's more like when I, it's an option, okay? I, I feel like this is going to be all new. It feels like somebody who loves to be in love with you, but they love to do nice things for you. They love to show their affection, their appreciation. They're a great communicator. And they may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, with that six of wands energy. But I feel like they're either way, they're just a very positive person. It's somebody who's an uplifter, who looks at the positive things in life. And so with your current situation, oh God, and I can see why whoever this is wanted to see a reading today, Jesus, 
Well, okay, the good news is, is that you're coming out of this. The bad news is it's in the reading. But I like it in this area, almost, you know, ideally in that area, even over other areas. And it makes so much sense with the tower in your subconscious. So the Eight of Swords is like too many people around you, I feel. Too many people trying to give you ideas. And it might also be too, in some ways, if you have a lot of people depending on you, that feeling of stress and pressure and especially with the the watery energy here that's emotional energy but it's also guilt for somebody like not wanting to let people down putting it's a self-imposed pris prison with the eight of swords the eight of swords too eights are about vibration and rhythm and momentum the eight of swords doesn't move forward it's really being in a place of too much thinking again maybe too many other people around you giving their input the nine, and then it leads into nine of swords, sleepless nights, needless worry. And the nine of swords tells you that you're actually quite protected, but the black in the background, that uncertain type of energy, it's contrast, but it can also be ignorance and not having information. Well, I feel like all the information you need is coming forward. You're going to have exactly what you need to make a decision. Those of you that say, yes, it's been very indecisive. I felt like things have been out of my hands. Well, things are going to be coming into your hands. So with the tower, you've got the corporate raider. Our human, you know, not, not our human nature so much as our divine nature doesn't stay in stagnation. Our soul is always ascending. So the tower comes in after the devil and the cards. It goes the devil, the tower, the star. And after the, the tower is wish fulfillment. So it's like your restlessness in the subconscious is saying, we have to break free of this. We cannot keep you in this because it's not a match. There's something better. The tower is a tower built on sand, and so it's not sustainable. So in that, whatever that circumstance was, it feels uncomfortable because you know that it's not completely stable. If it's a job or it's a relationship, there's something better for you. And so with this tower energy, it's always about an awakening and it brings you into a radical new life. It is the end of delusions. It's I always feel like with this one, it's like the universe has an invisible hand that's just about to switch on the lights. And then that's when the star, star comes in. And so <clears throat> with the, um, the energy after this, it brings in revelation, it brings in hope, it brings in new insights. It's always for your greatest and highest good. So it's the perfect timing. It's right here, it's right on time, right on schedule. So the Ten of Cups, this is harmony. It is about money. So for some of you, if you had some money that came in in the past, I do feel like you're making a decision and it may influence your career. Those of you that say, yeah, I had enough money to get, go back and get back into school or go back and, um, you know, get more skills in a certain area. I feel like I have more freedom now. This also, too, can be a relationship. But I still feel like with that King of Swords, I feel like somebody here had a breakup. So it may have been good until it wasn't with this because the Ten of Pentacles is generally a fortunate card. But then that King of Swords right after, it's almost like screeching tires. You know, like, oh, well, let's get this back into alignment. Let's start thinking again with the King of Swords. But with this Ten of Pentacles, again, in the distant past, it may have also put you on a trajectory where you started to see things differently and saying, I want more in my life. But this was been good while it was while it was good. It served a purpose. But now it's time for you to expand even more. And so in relationships, you're looking for depth, for richness. This is also about leaving a legacy. So if there was like, like we talked about in the beginning of a relationship where it was like you're almost more of an option or you felt invisible, I do feel like that set the stage for saying, look, I'm worth more and this is not really what I'm interested in. So the King of Swords arrives to say, well, let's cut you free from that and let's cut you free from this Nine and Eight of Swords because not much happens when you're in that energy. The King of Swords is a bit unemotional. So for some of you, you may be making a very logical decision and saying, this may disappoint some people, but I'm doing it anyway. I have to. I don't, I cannot stay in Eight of Swords any longer. So the King of Swords brings clarity. It brings decisiveness and it brings great communication. Very much, there's nothing here that's not communicated. So in a job or any contracts that you sign, this is fairly easy because it's so straightforward. There's not mistakes here either. Talk about a type A personality, Jesus. So if you're attracting one of those and you might find, you say, well, I'm that way too. I like things organized. I like things, 
done the right way the first time. Well, here's your ticket right here. So with this King of Swords, things are definitely going to get the tension I feel gets alleviated from that nine and ten of swords. This is serving a purpose, no doubt about it. And with the three of wands, threes are wonderful for synthesis and synergy and happiness. The three of wands is your ships coming in, but I love the yellow in the background. That is such an important symbol of an environment that brings in blessings. You have it here three different times. So I do feel like with this, you're going to be moving forward. Your answers are coming in here. Your ships are coming in. For some of you, though, there is reconciliation, but I feel like it's going to be different. There's much more sensitivity coming towards you. There was almost a, um, a disconnect in the past. It was just almost too much mental and not enough divine being in, in, infused into the energy. So with this three of wands, get ready for some expansion. Celebration comes after this one. So you've got the four. I would have loved to have seen the four of wands here because three and four of the same suit. But for this, it says, hey, it's time to get yourself back to center, quiet the mind. So some of you too, you may say, you know, I see reconciliation as a possibility, but I don't feel like dealing with it right now. I do feel like for some, you may say, I want that to hold off a bit because I need to figure out who I am in a deeper way and then see if I'm interested in this. And that's okay too. So with this four of swords, it alleviates confusion. It alleviates that ping pong match of the mind. And it's also knock and the door will open. Ask and it is given. When we quiet the mind and open the heart, the asking becomes so powerful. It's like there's nothing blocking it. There's no barriers here for you. You're at that take take a leap of, play, uh, pardon me, take a leap of faith kind of place. So with this four of swords, there's a purpose for it. Those of you that say, yeah, I've been wanting to spend more time by myself and that sort of thing, because this is what you're attracting. This is success. It's a victory. It's promotion and career expansion with the three there as well. And it's also, too, having many supportive people around you. And so what I feel like with this, for some of you, you have a reconciliation and the person is going to try very hard. They're going to be committed and they're going, and I feel like there's going to be a very open conversation about what did not work and saying, I don't want that back. If that's what you're interested in, I'm not, it's not going to be a match. But others of you, too, um, with the new relationship, this is truly somebody who supports you. They cannot get enough of you and they want to see you win. They want to see you succeed with the six of wands. It'll be a time of, of harmony all around you. It'll be a time when you say things just moved forward during that period of my life. So I do feel like with this, in terms of love, you've got cards here of spring and summer. So don't be surprised if things start moving Whoops, forward now. So the Empress and the Hierophant, of course, are very significant partnerships, but the Two of Cups also is about partnerships. So I do feel like you have a match. Now, those of you that it's it's something about jo a job or moving with this, this is also about creativity. It's about bliss. It's about work that feels like a hobby. It feels like somewhere you want to be. And it's like we were talking about having people around you that it's very harmonious. So the Empress is you're gonna have a lot of different opportunities here. She has that waterfall in the backdrop over here. It comes off of the high priestess gown. It's saying you're in flow. So I feel like you catch this energy and things start to get into place pretty quickly. In a relationship though, too, this is nurturing energy, but it's also coming from within you here. So people around you will feel this and be attracted to you. You might find they try to strike up conversations. You're at a you know car dealership getting your tires rotated and they're like, what are you here for? All that kind of little day-to-day -day stuff where they just are gravitating towards you. Because with the hier uh, Hierophant here too, this is also an energy of bringing in more. It's unity. It's coming together. 3, 7, 12 are associated. You also have 12 and three with the Empress. So for somebody, I do feel like it's within the next period of, I would be watching that uh, four month predictive. I feel like that's going to be revealing for you guys. But with this, it's in terms of relationships, it's a marriage. In terms of a job, it's being in charge. It's getting more skills. So it's definitely saying that positives are on the way. 
All right, let's see here, Virgo, what the angels have to say for you. What else does Virgo need to know, please? What messages do you have for Virgo? Advice for Virgo, please. Recovery, so mind, body, spirit, I like it. You've got helpful people. So that's been in the, that was definitely in the tarot. Improving health too. So again, if something's been weighing on you, which it clearly has, you're going to be relieved of that. You're ready. And they say to give you a yes. All right. Good things are on the way, Virgo. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.